Distance Learning Assessment Options Let's talk about three categories of assessment, diagnostic, formative, and summative. Diagnostic assessments are pretests that identify what students know about a topic or identify their current skill level. These are done before or at the start of a course or module. Formative assessments, or assessments for learning, are done during the course and help teachers determine how students are progressing. Formative assessments give teachers a chance to give feedback and help students along the way. These are like checks for understanding. Do the students get it? Do they need to review something? Does the teacher need to explain in another way? It's an opportunity to redirect the students and offer more targeted support. Summative assessments are usually done at the end of a unit, module, or course, and they are assessments of learning. They measure to what extent students can demonstrate their ability to meet the learning outcomes at this specific time. They are used by teachers to provide a final grade to students, but they also give teachers information to help them revise how they taught the module or course. It helps them, the teachers, make a better course for the next group of students. There are lots of assessment types and they typically fall into open or closed questions. Closed assessments have options students pick from. Multiple choice, true false, check all that apply, ranking. Open-ended questions allow students to provide the answer, like fill in the blank, short or long answer, essays or projects. Closed assessments work very well for online courses. They're quite simple to make and give the students immediate feedback. They are best suited to lower level learning outcomes, like remembering or understanding, but can be used for application outcomes with the use of a scenario or example situation. We use many closed assessments in unfacilitated courses because there isn't a teacher in the course who can actively give the feedback. So that is built into the closed assessment. Open-ended assessments are best for teacher-supported classes as the teacher needs to review what the student has submitted and give feedback. In all cases, feedback is the most important part of an assessment. Students need to know how they did, where they're struggling, and they need guidance on how to improve. Teachers need assessments to help them improve as educators. <laughs>